everyone welcome back to my channel today we'll be learning how to make a super mario game part 1 in scratch so now let's get started first we'll go to the event section and take when the flag is clicked let's zoom in a bit so that we can see the screen after when the flag is clicked we'll go to the motion section and take the go to block then go to looks and take the set size to 35% now we'll go to the control section and take the forever. Inside the forever we'll take the if block and inside the if block we'll put the or block. In the first cell of the or we'll put key right arrow pressed and in the second cell we'll put key D pressed. So we'll change it to key D pressed instead of key right arrow. Yes. Now inside the if block we'll go to motions and take point in direction 90 that means it will point in the right side and change x by 6 now duplicate this coding and put it beneath we'll change the right arrow pressed to the left arrow pressed and we'll change key d to change key a point direction minus 90 and change x by minus 6 now we'll go to controls and take the if block in the if block, we'll go to operators and take the and block. In the second cell of the and, we'll take the or block. So now we'll go to sensing and take touching ground. Like this. And then in the second one, we'll put key up arrow pressed. And in the second, uh, third one, we'll put it as key W pressed. So now we'll put it all together. Inside the if block now, we'll go to variable section and make some variables y v y velocity and up question mark. So now we'll set the up variable to 1 and we'll set the y v that means the y velocity to 10. Yes. Now we'll go to the control section and take the repeat 10 block. Inside the repeat 10 block, we'll go to motions and take change y by yv, that means y velocity, and then take change yv by minus 1 for the jumping coding, and then take set up to 0. Now, this column of coding is done. We'll do the second column. For the second column, we'll again take when the flag is clicked. After that, take the forever block. Inside the forever block, we'll put the if block. Duplicate this right arrow thing and put it in the if block. Like this, if key right arrow pressed or key D pressed, then we'll make it switch to the next costume for the animation of walking. Next costume, wait 0.1 seconds. Now duplicate this thing and put it as left arrow and key A pressed. Like this. Now we'll again take when the flag is clicked. Now we'll take forever block. Inside the forever block, we'll put the if block. Inside the if block cell, we'll put the and block. And in the first one, we'll put not. And in the second one, we'll put the equals to sign. Then we'll go to sensings and take touching ground. Not touching ground. If not touching ground, and up equals to 0 then we'll code it as by going to motion section and take change y block change y by yv y velocity and change yv by minus 1 now we'll again take the when the flag is clicked forever the if block and inside the cell of the if block will take the touching color green for the wall detections if touching color green change x by minus 10 we'll duplicate this and change the color to the brown color for the ground if touching brown change x by minus 10 again now we'll do the coding of the ground when this clicked go to x7 and y minus 167 now we'll do the coding of the mystery block. So for the mystery block, we'll take when the flag is clicked. Then go to look section and take the switch costume to costume 1. 
after switch costume to costume 1 forever block and inside that if block if touching mario then we'll again put a if block inside the if block so in this if block which is inside we'll take the equals to sign from operators and the first cell we'll put costume number equals to 1 then we'll go to the variable section and make the all variables hidden go to looks and take switch costume to costume 2 and broadcast a new message named coin ok now we'll do the coding of the mystery coin that will pop out of the mystery brick when the flag is clicked hide in the beginning and after that we'll take the forever block inside the forever block we'll take next costume with 0.1 second smoothly for the animation so change weight 1 second to 0 0.1 second then take when I receive coin that means when this sprite receives coin make a new variable named coins and change coins by 1 that means it will increase the preview by 1 and show then wait for one second and then hide itself again. Now we'll do the coding of the normal coins that will be on the steps. When the flag is clicked, go to motions and take the go to block. Go to 202. Instead of 202, we'll put it as go to x131 and y minus 97. The positions matter here. So create clone of myself, it will create a clone of itself and then go to 202x and minus 51y. Now after this go to block, we'll go to look section and take the show block. After the show block, we'll take the forever block. Inside the forever block, we'll go to looks and take the next costume, wait for 0 0.1 seconds again for the animation for the coin like this now when the flag is clicked forever inside forever the if block and the cell of the if will take touching mario change coins by one now we'll take the hide block Yes, now we'll take the when I start as a clone, as we did start as a clone, forever, next costume, and then wait for some seconds, wait for 0 0.1 seconds for the animation again. Now duplicate this when I start as a clone and forever, inside the forever we'll put the if block, in the cell of the if block, we'll put touching from sensing, touching Mario, and duplicate this code, change coins by 1 and hide itself. Now we'll do the coding for the preview coin which will show the preview. When the flag is clicked, forever, inside the forever block we'll go to looks and take the block next costume. And then wait for 0 0.1 seconds for the animation of the coin. Yes. Now we'll show the variable coin and change it to a larger readout and put it in a position like this. Now we'll do the coding for the song for the Mario game. When the flag is clicked, play sound Super Mario game song until then. Now we'll add one more code after when the flag is clicked, set coins to zero in the beginning. Now we can test out our game. The Mario can jump, it can walk right to left using the WASD or the right arrow. It can even collect mystery boxes and normal coins. It can even detect walls and buildings like this. And the preview of the coins is right now 3 as we collected 3 coins including the mystery box. So if you like the project, don't forget to like, share and subscribe. For more such videos, don't forget to put the notification bell on. Bye, meet you in the second part.